Well, it's one week until Halloween and I thought I would do another one of my little ramble videos. And today I'm going to go somewhere um, which not many people know about. Um, it's, it's in plain view, but yeah, nobody really knows the horror, if you like, uh, background to it. Um, and it's about 10 miles away from here. So I'm in my car, just about to get off. Um, and I've put on a bit of dark folk music to get into it because yeah, I mean, you could consider this a bit of folk horror, uh, the place I'm gonna go to. So uh, yeah, I'm on my way and uh, part two when I get there. Right, it's about 15 minutes later and I'm in a place in Kent called Romney Marsh. And traditionally, this was all marshland around here, it was all marshland, uh, all marsh and bogs and swamps. You've got Michael Palin in um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yeah, he would have built Swamp Castle here. But since about the Middle Ages, uh, this whole area has been drained um, via um, ditches and dikes and re-diverting and stuff like that. And, uh, and it's become arable land, but it's incredibly flat and over there, about two or three miles away, is the sea. Um, so, the reason I'm here is that in 1915, Russell Thorndike had the first of a series of books published telling the tales of the Reverend Dr. Christopher Sin, okay, which were based on the real-life smug smuggling activities from around here. Uh, back in the 18th century, um, booze and tobacco were brought to England at night from France and smuggled up um, to avoid paying tax, basically. So, yeah, and that's the tradition. You go to Dimchurch, which is the nearest big town or hive, and to this day there are buildings with cellars and secret tunnels for hiding all your illicit goods, all right? So, yeah, anyway, Russell's books, um, at that time, in history, in the 18th century, there were a whole lot of gangs, often um, supported by corrupt government and army official bods and stuff like that. And you had tons of gangs, smuggling gangs. And uh, in the novels, this Dr. Sin was the victor, vicar of Dimchurch, which, as I say, which is the nearest town to around here. Well, in the first book, his wife elopes with his best friend and goes off to America. He pursues and en route to America, he's caught by a pirate ship and fights and kills its captain, Captain Satan, and takes control of the ship and assumes the name Captain Clegg. That might start ringing a bell uh, for some of you. Um, returning to England and to here, he takes up the role of the vicar again at Dim Church, but he learns, he already knows about the smugglers, but he learns of the smugglers' um, taking some of his parishioners uh, captive. So he goes off to rescue them, and um, on the way to rescue them, he stops by a scarecrow, dons the scarecrow's clothing, and goes off and rescues them. After that, realizing that he could only protect his flock by becoming the leader of the smugglers, he created a more elaborate scarecrow outfit covered in luminous paint and became the scarecrow. He also outfitted his fellow smugglers and their horses and the idea was they would be out at night and um, everybody would think that they are the phantoms of the marshes, these ghostly spectral uh, creatures riding horses. Um, and they, they developed the name the Night Riders or the Devil Riders. So that's the books, 1915, and they were very popular. Now the reason I'm here talking about all this is that up there right that's my car that's saint clement's church of old romney you can see there now this area is called Om old romney um there is now new romney but this is the old the old part of this area it's called old romney there's not much here anymore i think there's 250 people live here everything's gone now the shop's gone the school's gone all that's left is the rose and crown the local pub but this is the actual church where 
Dr. Sin preached and at night would go off and be Captain Clegg. Now, there were three film versions. There was one in 1937 called Dr. Sin with George Arliss as Dr. Sin. And then, yeah, Captain Clegg, the Hammer film from 1962, starring Peter Cushing. Now, Hammer wanted to call it Dr. Sin, but they couldn't because the Walt Disney Company had recently acquired the rights to the book because they wanted to make their own version. So what they had to do was rename it. They renamed it Captain Clegg and Dr. Sin became Parson Bliss. All right. So, yeah, pretty good Hammer film from 1962. Wasn't filmed here. That was filmed in Denham, which I guess was uh, nearer to Bray Studios for Hammer. Um, but Walt Disney did come here and they did a TV version a year later in 1963 uh, for the, and it was called The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh and it was for their Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Colour TV series which got a UK cinema release of Dr Sin alias The Scarecrow and they came here um, Patrick McGowan of the Prisoner fame played Dr. Sin and they actually did come here. They filmed all around on location and they actually came to here to St. Clements. Now, the reason I'm here is because I'm going to go in in a minute because, yeah, well, I'll let you know once I'm inside. So here we are inside the rather cute little church. Um, this is the church that they used in the film and yeah you can just about see there when the Disney came, company came here in 1963 they painted the interior pink the walls are pink the wooden panelling everything is pink and it has stayed pink since that day since 1963 this is still the original pink that the Walt Disney Company painted it. So we've come out to a rainbow, don't know if you can see that. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Um, that there is the main road going down to Lyd and to the coast and people drive past this church every day not knowing uh, the story. Um, the story before Covid the area did capitalise on the Dr Sin uh, um, stories by uh, having a Dr Sin festival every two years and I be, went to a couple and they were good fun. People come, come along in their um, homemade scarecrow costumes and you know it's good this area isn't exactly the most affluent of areas and it's good to have a bit of uh, income injected into the uh, into the neighborhood and, um, and and good on them and I like that but also I like the fact that you've got this it is almost like a, you know a folklore tale now and um, part of the appeal of it is it's, it's not very well known if it be if say they did you know Tim Burton did a, a new version of it Disney did a you know, streaming series of it, and it became popular. You would have people pouring down here, and and you know the charm of this rather bleak landscape could be spoilt by coach parties and stuff. So um, I'm quite happy that it is what it is. Right, just a little postscript. Um, I've come down to Dimchurch. That's a Martello Tower which dates back to the Napoleonic Wars when there was a threat of invasion from France over there. So yeah, I'm down in Dimchurch. That's Dimchurch there. And I've been along to, um, um, you know, get a bite to eat. And it, as I say, it's one week till Halloween. You would think there would be something Dr. Sin related somewhere. I saw one pumpkin head and one fake cobweb. That's all there is. Halloween, they've really missed the trick. The council round here. Oh dear. All right, okay, well, thanks for enduring my little uh, ramble and uh, 
I'll be back with modelling soon.